Okay, here we go. We are on Bora Stompy. And yeah, this seems like a keep. We have the Ragavan. We have something to bring it through and we have some late game. Our opponent is in the in the tank. Deciding if their hand is worth it. And they're keeping on seven, so let's see what Ragavan can accomplish. Oh, seems like a removal. That's pretty sad. So we have to slow down a little bit, it seems. Or not. <laughs> or we play a turn to Legion War Boss. That's also not the worst. So yeah, this Stompy deck is pretty uh, explosive. I got it. Uh, it's like a, it's a brew of a friend of mine, and so I tried out for him. Our opponent is on a on a Gruel build. It's also kind of cool. And now we need to hit our hit our mana somehow. So I think we just play the Chandler, get our plateau and try to hit Delirium, I think. And hit our land drops on top of it. So I think we just main phase out here. Try to grow the guy. The land we want, so put it on top and attack for one. And so next turn, this means only our option is to place a sword and keep on digging. Hopefully, he plays something affordable. Seems like he's keeping up removal too. Or maybe a flash threat, so. Flash threat would be not the worst, but. Let me just attack here. And there you go. Yeah. He has a lot of removal in his deck. Beast, okay. Beast is okay, I think. And he goes back to eighteen. But we are both low on resources. <laughs> Magus is kind of bad, but what? It's a creature, so we play it. Magus not the best against the ghoul. Basic, basic land deck. But whatever. Okay. This is a cool card. It's like Okay Dix Lex House a bird. Okay. Apparently he needs even more mana. But it was uh, the best option here. The heavy I might is kind of annoying. But it's uh answer for the golem. So I think we don't play it. Maybe he creates it at some point. Ah, 
Ah, flashbacks uh, research, research desk. Get saluting, which is just another card that he can flashback next turn. And he knows himself a two. He opts not to play it. Mm, I mean, he can play it next turn, I think. Okay, I think we just hit again. Hopes that he trades. Which it doesn't, so let's say go again. So Mills Saga, yeah. <laughs> Lucky us. And ah. Flashback saluting again. Tries to search even further. And he bolts. Okay, so I think now we kill the knight, he gains to life, we we'll play the golem. And then, yeah, I was about to say then the golem would have traded for the land, but as it stands we can remove it, so yeah, we we'll keep the pressure up. In the golem, besides from being a 5-3, is texting him not very much. Or just like kind of mana wealthy. Bunning growth for two and wastelands. Okay, no, yeah. Animates, okay. It's a weird play. I mean, you take three and block the goblin. This is, uh, this is very aggressive. Maybe he has the the opinion that he doesn't want to trade it. So we draw our mystic here and can get an equipment. Which will be Bellascar, I think. Doesn't look good for our opponent. I think he will concede in a second. Yeah. So, second game, we have a turn two Rebel Master. On the draw and a blood moon, which is most likely dead. Not sure about this hand. I mean, we can we have two draws to draw big stuff, so I guess we keep it because we have the fast mana. But if we keep on drawing lands, maybe not the best. No. <laughs> the worst. <laughs> the worst. Oh no. Okay. Hopefully our opponent will not will not do too much with it. Excels a Thalia, of course. Okay. okay. Okay, we can play a tap rebel master. I guess we do that. Create two tap creatures. On 
the next time we can maybe block the block the Ragavan. The Rebel Master. Ragavan is a <laughs> Ragavan is a, is a thing, yeah. Our opponent has a cool old bottle Ragavan which is only available at MTGO. Sadly it's not available at the paper. Not even in secret layer. Hmm. Gets an Archon. Hmm. He gets a, a whole stack uh, stacks pieces. Let's see if he wants to play it. Next turn we can keep up the Agandro also. So <laughs> Yeah. It's kind of rough. We have to play the basic since our non-basic will get into play tap. We have to attack with our tokens. But we keep back the the rebel master itself so we have the option to kill this guy but i think it's not the not the way to go i think we have to kill the thalia and block the ragavan if possible then we care about the, the archon later so we block Ragavan and then we go under the Thalia and take out two. And then maybe you can play like the Timeless Dragon in a minute. The Ragavan dealt a lot of damage. Not extra damage, but like. Value damage. Okay, um, we can kill this guy, search for basic, and then internalize the dragon next turn, I guess. Uh, so, we not we don't attack with the goblin. So, if he has something else, we we want to keep it as a block hunt. Also, this guy has a unearth cost, so maybe killing its sorcery speed is not the best idea. Besides, of the F6 value, obviously. Egeros was a converter and since the Archon is on the battlefield he's not able to play anything else so I think it means for him that he will loot with it. So we get our planes. So maybe the Archon is helping us in a way. Yeah so we Analyze our dragon friend. Play land and say go. Our opponent discards uh, Arcanist and exiles it. So, as a currency converter, you can turn this guy next turn into a 2 2. He attacks, so this means that he has a removal, but. I think we block anyway, since we are 9. This means for him that he can, that his hand is unleashed, he can double spell. Yeah, okay. Place a sniper, close the dragon. Now we need big stuff, yeah, I like that. So I think it's just Fable. And since the Magus and Blood Moon are kind of worthless, we keep them as uh, loading fodder for next turn. He will create his 2-2. Two -two. Yeah, the question is if he attacks now with the 2-3, if we double block it. Yeah, our keep was kind of... <laughs> kind of not the best. Yeah, maybe we have the Ragavan next next game then. And he doesn't have anything. For fairness reasons. I think the Fable has to has to help us in a big way. So I think we have to have to 
to double block the 2 3. If we got blown out, we got blown out. Okay, he doesn't have the removal, so good for us. And now we loot away the moon and the city, I guess. It's an arc trail. We would like to kill the, the excavator, I think. He will not block, so we have to kill this guy and ping him. Play City, play Magus. So go. Loot as a converter. I think we will, we will be drowned in value a couple of turns. At least we got the city. No, we got. Oh no. Yeah, I think. Uh, I think we have to hit big time here. I mean, our deck has a lot of big stuff, but our opponent still has three cards and also library and the currency converter. Our opponent typed oops in the chat someone like <laughs> some time ago. Not sure what this was about. Okay, traverses for his best creature. I think we will concede here if we don't draw anything really good. He also has a fire firebolt still in his uh, in his graveyard. And the Phyrexian Dragon Engine. Hopefully he doesn't let us wait too long. Tank, tank, tank. Gets the Bone Crusher Giant, okay. And cast the Shadow Spear, of course. Yeah, we take two. Sure, sure, sure. And we draw land and... Uh, I mean, this is this kind of thing, but I think we can see it here. So we need to be explosive this time around. We have the pesky Magus again. And we can have a turn to Avon Mind Sensor to screw him and the Wasteland. So maybe, yeah, yeah, I think this is good enough. Although we have the Magus. So hopefully our opponent starts on a fetch that we can stifle. No. Is the Raga one again? Of course the Raga one again. Ah. Opponent is really lucky in that sense. So, But we have to remove it this time. So three games, three turn one of Agavans between of us. Doesn't have a land. Oh, 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 oh. I have bought us. Oh man. So I think we just play the wasteland and say go. Doesn't have anything again. So this means for us that we. Start pressuring. I think it's just plateau. We don't want to screw ourselves uh, on white mana, so. Frostbite, sure. Nothing is still. Okay. So then we just keep up solitude. Say go again. After wasteland on top. Nothing. 
then just play the Ragawa, uh, the Solitude. Cards a crop rotation. So now that we have the fetch for the white mana, it means for us that we can deploy our Magus. Yeah. Use our city, of course. But no worries. Still have a lot of mana. Put our planes. And maybe we even draw a card before that. So, yeah, draw a card. And play the Magus. Opponent oh, has still remove up. Wasn't too. Okay, opponent has all the removal, apparently. So our opponent had a really good Ragavan game. Would have had a really good Ragavan game with like every possible way to bring it through. So we could just get the battle scout here. And if he kills the Stormforge Mystic 2, we can even like hard cast it. Ah, has a second land. Um, yeah, we trade. We trade against the Stoneforge Mystic and deploy our Battle Scar here. Which will be GG of, not of course, but in a couple of turns, I think. Gets a bubble. Searches. And now he knows if he will draw another land. We can hard cast the uh, spirit guide with our city, which is really funny. I think we do that. Play our Grey Ogre. I think it's... I think they're called like this. 3 mana 2 twos. And just say go. Okay. Our opponent finally... Gets his land. <laughs> and yeah. Gets a bubble, gets a high arc, but I think it's. It's too late for that. Yeah, we just. Arc trail them. Edix them. And that's again. GG's.